to very much agree with the sentiments expressed by the noble Lord Alton and um, agree with the importance of total independence um, if we must go in the di direction of this legislation. But I still have great concerns about the direction in which we are going, especially about independent capacity and settled will, because we need to bear in mind everything we do, and we need to place ourselves in the individuals, in the patient's position. Everything we need, everything we do is influenced by those around us. A person suffering mentally or physically will <coughs> undoubtedly be affected by not only the pain, but also by his view or her view of what effect their disability is having on the lives of others. A desire not to be a burden can sometimes in be induced by others. A little thought seems to be given to this. Equally, uncaring or selfish attitudes of those around cannot but have an adverse effect on one's desire to live. How on earth I fail to understand how a couple of doctors or even um, independent judges can know the finer points of that family interaction and what pressurizes the individual to, to saying, I wish to end my own life. Then there is the wider concerns on not only the family, but on society as a whole in going along the direction of this particular legislation. What are we saying to future generations? Um, when we know that palliative care can do so much, and yet um, so much more has to be done to improve it. Only this week we heard a report of nurses saying that only 10% of nurses felt that they were properly equipped to deal with end-of-life decisions, end-of-life care. We can do much more in the, this direction rather than taking the easy uh, route, which sets a marker to future generations. You can go in this right direction, you can end life. That is something that I personally find totally wrong. Thank you.